Okay, so I've been working on my tower for the 56 gallon so that they have places to hide. One of the things that I've been doing is working on this terracotta pot with the good old Dremel tool. Um, I've planned out my my cuts and what I'm going to do. One of the things that you got to be careful of with cutting terra terracotta is the heat. So as you go with your Dremel, you'll do light passes one at a time and then move it and then move it again and again and again. You don't want to stay in one place for too long because it does get really hot. The other thing is when you're actually cutting, I hold it like this and I can feel the resonance and when it gets too high pitch that means you're chipping away at something a little too hard so back off. Um, I did manage to get one out <laughs> and this is the piece that came out. That's what terracotta looks like. You got a clay base with a basically a terracotta coating. It's all nice and fired and man this thing is hard as I'll get out. I went ahead and did my terracotta plates with aquarium sealant. I think I got a little carried away on the top, but it, it should be uh, nice and sturdy. The only thing that I'm worried about is the weight in the tank. So what I'm going to do is after, after I've done my tower, which is going to go something like this, and then it'll have a little top cone. Um, so that'll be my tower. And it's not quite two feet. It goes up most of the way to the top. But when I weigh it, what I want to do is take some of the water out of the tank to reduce the weight that the tank bears. So I might take like an inch worth of water out of the top of the tank to accommodate the extra weight of this. Um, otherwise you run the potential of cracking the tank. But overall I'm happy with how this is going to look. It's going to have nice tidies but it's going to be open enough that I can see and the holes are big enough that my featherfin catfish and my Trinidad pleco can move in and out without getting stuck or scraping themselves on something. When I'm done here I'm going to go in with the sanding discs and sand um, all the edges making them nice and smooth and I'll show you the finished product later.